Next, the magician will attempt one of his biggest illusions ever, using this genuine trolley car. As we can see, the car is authentic in every detail. From the brass handrails down to the highly polished wooden seats. Retro trolley cars like this give tourists and residents of San Francisco the experience of traveling streets no longer serviced by the surviving cars that still run on cable power. Kind of makes you want to eat some rice, doesn't it? But the magician has a different kind of treat in mind. Let's take a look outside. Here we can see the attention to detail on the exterior of the car, along with the routes that it serves. There is no mistaking that this is the real deal, all 16 tons of it. Two assistants enter with a wooden barricade. This is to make sure no one gets too close to the car during the trick and to prevent it from going any place but where the magician wants it to go. And on this side are the beautiful girls. I was wondering when they'd make their appearance. Pretty maids all in a row. Um, back to the trick. Again, we see that the car is genuine. The assistants return with another wooden barricade to place in front of the trolley. Now that we're convinced it's real and not going anywhere, let's get ready for some magic. We can see that resting on top of the car is a giant sheet. You can bet it will come into play soon. The magician motions for the girls to release the sheet. I knew they'd be coming into play too. As the girls tend to the corners and bottom of the sheet, the magician makes his usual magical gestures. I wonder what's going on with the trolley. The girls are still adjusting the sheet, but we'd better check to see that nothing's amiss. The magician lifts the bottom edge, and we can see from the position of the front tire that the trolley hasn't moved an inch. Let's check the back. He lifts this edge, and we can see that the back tire is just where we left it. Sorry, girls. You can go back to adjusting the bottom of the sheet. There's nothing like a neat and tidy trick to end the show. Let's watch as the magician summons his magical powers. Watch. He gives a command, and the trolley appears to rise. Incredible. It weighs 16 tons, and yet it has lifted effortlessly above the floor. Look, it continues to levitate higher and higher into the air. Amazing. We can see all the way through to the row of lights that were illuminating the other side. The girls take hold of the sheet and wait for the magician. They pull. It's gone. The trolley car has vanished into thin air. The barricades are still in place, yet the trolley is gone. An impossible illusion, yet we've witnessed it with our own eyes. Nice trick, mass man. I have no idea how you pulled this one off. Here are the secrets. First of all, it's a trick that can only be performed on television. When the illusion begins, the magician shows us the trolley car from all angles to prove that it's real. 
But take a look at the top of the trolley. What we don't see is this large metal frame, which is the same shape as the roof of the car. The frame is suspended from sturdy cables that hang from the ceiling. It's been constructed to fit exactly on top of the car, precisely duplicating its contours. Before the trick begins, the frame is carefully covered with the large silk sheet. A stagehand operating a powerful winch raises the frame and sheet several feet off the floor. Now it's time to bring in the trolley. This is a genuine trolley car, built in the design of the old cable cars. These days, it's used for sightseeing and tours of San Francisco landmarks. The car is carefully driven into place directly beneath the metal frame. We'll see later how the frame takes the place of this several ton car. A few more inches and the car is precisely in position. The frame is delicately lowered onto the fine machine and the sheet is rolled up onto the roof of the car. This setup is in place long before the magician shows us the trolley. During the trick, the sheet is lowered and the girls begin to fan the fabric as if adjusting it. The magician lifts the corner to show the front tire, proving that the trolley is still in place. This is when a driver, concealed inside the trolley, climbs out of hiding and quickly gets behind the wheel. Out front, the magician shows the rear tire while the girls continue to fan the sheet. The camera carefully frames the scene so that we can't see the other assistants moving the barricade from behind the trolley. Now the metal frame is raised, creating the illusion that the entire trolley is levitating, thanks to the winch. Once the frame is above the roof, the car is free to be backed out of position. Meanwhile, the camera is carefully avoiding the action just off the right side of its frame. Otherwise, you'd see this. Not too magical. The girls never stop fanning the sheet, which conceals the movement of the trolley. The barricade is replaced so that when the camera pulls back, the rest of the scene appears untouched. The magician makes some gestures to give the impression that his powers are levitating the car into the air. But from behind, we can see that the frame is being lifted by the cables. The giant sheet is pulled down, and the TV audience believes that the trolley has vanished into thin air. In reality, the frame is quickly being raised at the same time the sheet is removed. Of course, the camera never includes this angle during the trick. The vanishing trolley car, not an impossible illusion at all when you know the secret.